We see it all the time on video that encounters can go from zero to deadly force like lightning. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. This is an officer involved shooting that goes from a friendly conversation to a gunfight so fast. It teaches us very important lessons here about awareness, about paying attention to the hands because they're where the danger is, about surviving the ambush, and about how incredibly difficult it is to be a police officer in America today. Lots of news stories on this one on my website. Make sure that you go and you click through so you can read all the news. The guy in this car is wanted. He has a warrant out for him. So these officers have talked to him. They talked very kindly to him to try to get him to kind of deal with this thing. Now they're going to have to arrest him for the warrants. And so let's listen in for a moment. Let's come back and we'll start learning lessons in just a minute. Put your hands on top of your head. For what? Put your hands on top of your head. Put your hands on top of your head. Get it? Don't, don't be... Get good, 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 good! Second body cam angle here, and as everything starts to go down, you can see that the police department, as they released it, slowed it down, where you can see the gun come out here. Let's keep listening, and we'll learn some more. Nineteen seventy-eight emergency traffic. We got some shots by air suspects. Don't move. Don't move. You okay? You okay? You okay, Lyles? No, he's still got the gun. Right. Lyles, get this way. Lyles, get this way. All right, now from the dash cam, we can see everything go crazy as the first officer tries his taser. Second officer puts his taser in his left hand, draws his gun, has to wait for his backstop to clear. Then he starts putting shots down range, and everybody's putting shots down range at this point. He's got taser in the left hand. He's looking around, seeing what's going on. And then as this perp starts to flee, he's got to put shots on target single-handed there, and you're going to see him try to put his taser away so he can get both hands on his gun. Now, let's go back, and we're going to look at some more lessons here out of this one. First lesson is... Watch the hands. We're going to see that the hands are the windows to the intent. Eyes may be the window to the soul. Hands are the window to the intent. Watch the hands. You can see him make that furtive gesture. He is going for the gun right here. Now, the officer doesn't know that it's a gun, but he knows that bad things are coming when this guy starts reaching for his waistband and things are happening. That's the first sign to that officer that things are going really bad, and that's why he dives in. They've tried really hard to be nice to this guy. Again, go watch the originals. They talked to him a long time. Now, he's going to back out of there, and I think that's really wise. Now, let's look at the second officer's body cam and he can see the gun pretty quick so he's trying to see what's going on and as that gun comes out this guy gets multiple shots off before the officers are able to get their guns out because that's just how it works they're they're gonna have to survive the ambush because the fight is initiated by the person who wants to resist them not by the officers so they got to survive that ambush now it's uh, the officer here one of the first things that you see is he has to get out to the side and I notice this first officer here you notice he's got both hands on the gun and he is after it Now I do want to notice the taser on the ground there and if you see that taser actually almost appears to magically go back towards the car but it's not magic the, the officer who was on that side hit him with at least one of the taser barbs that at least got in the guy's clothes and now as the guy exits the car he's dragging that taser back towards the car and you can see it happen here as it goes off now notice that the officer has his radio up to his face and he has one hand on the gun that's sometimes how things go he really needs to talk into that so that he can get more help on the way gotta have that strong hand ability to shoot accurately with one hand on the gun but he notices he needs two hands on the gun to accurately fire especially at distance so he drops that radio for the moment gets two hands on the gun because the kind of shots that he has to take right now at about 25 or 30 yards are not easy shots to take and having both hands on the gun is the way that you want to do that now he's able to put those shots down range and I also want to talk about the fact that he's moving well with his partner he goes to pick up his radio again doesn't muzzle his partner there then gets his gun back up in the fight that's great awareness there to recognize where he is now as we look from the dash cam perspective we see the first officer go off now the next officer here draws his gun deadly force encounter but look at his backstop it's his fellow officer that's on the other side of this car and so I think it's incredible incredibly good awareness on this officer's part to move laterally himself and to wait for his partner to move before firing his firearm so he doesn't hit one of his fellow officers. That takes a lot of awareness. 
Now he starts putting as many shots as he can on target to get that guy thinking about doing something other than shooting at him. And I also notice you see that the officer here doesn't have tunnel vision. He is looking for other threats and other problems. And you ask, gosh, man, was that wise in the moment? It really was. Again, go watch the originals. There's a bunch of people around here that were a little sketchy and a little suspect. So officer's making sure that nobody else is getting into the fight with him. When he realizes nobody is, back to the threat that's that target. And I love that he's really driving in and trying to shoot that gun as best he can. Now, why didn't he drop his taser? Well, officers don't like dropping things, especially things like a taser onto the ground. But secondly, it's human nature to just keep whatever's in your hand and use that gun one-handed. So I'd encourage you to train to try to get rid of whatever it is in your hand to get two hands on the gun. All in all, these officers were dealt a terrible hand. They did what they had to do. They ended the threat and they covered their ASP.